Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be getting into some more immersive engineering and also encountering some issues that I hope you guys help me with towards the end of the video. So, anyways, I hope you guys are ready. So today I went ahead and got a ton of stuff done. Um, and in preparation for what we're going to be doing today. So, I have all of this listed here, uh, which actually wasn't too much. I had to wait for a little bit of steel to build up, but as you can see, we're producing steel at a very fast rate. Not as fast as you can produce steel in this pack. Of course, you can produce steel even faster um, in what we're about to make, which is the arc furnace. So, we have all of the stuff ready to get the arc furnace done. The only thing I think I need is going to be the pulverizer. Um, so, not too hard to get this stuff. Just really just a little bit of steel and a little bit of copper, uh, iron, plates, iron, uh, and stuff like that. Some steel plates and some steel rods. Not too much. And as you can see here, you're going to need the, the, one of the hardest things to get, I think, is the steel. But the three main components are going to be your redstone engineering block, your light engineering block, and your heavy engineering block. All of which are what you're going to use to combine all of these uh, components together. So, in that, in saying that, uh, a, proje a projector is going to be your best friend. Um, let me go ahead and show you exactly what this projector does. And it's not too hard to make. It's a very simple crafting recipe. Let's go ahead and open this up. And what we're going to go to is our heavy machinery, because that's what we're going to be making today. And the first thing I want to make is the squeezer. And the squeezer is what you need in order to make the hop graphite that we're going to need for the arc furnace today. And as you can see, it shows you right here the diagram. but if you take that while it's on that page and you craft it with a projector, you'll see that display instructions for making the, a squeezer. And that's what you want. So what we can do is now hover <laughs> and look at this. It literally projects it even with like the old tiny projection type uh, flashing that goes on. Um, and it'll allow you to place this wherever you need it to be. Um, and yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. I think if you hold, um, sh what is it? Shift. Can't remember. There is a way to rotate this. It's not like this. I thought it was maybe, I thought it was hold shift and then scroll wheel. Um, but yeah, you can kind of set this however you want. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I don't exactly know what direction I want this bad boy to be in. Um, let me, let me try and figure it out. I, th I don't think it really matters. Let's take a look. Let's look in the, uh, the manual. So the, the spot that the redstone is where our output is going to be because blue is input. So our input is going to be there. Output is going to be the back. So how is this projecting? Actually, if we take a look here, we can go into the... Uh, projector? Is there not a, a command that shows you? I love how you got a little clippy here telling you, did you mean this? Um, portable generator, that's not what we need. We need the projector, but I guess it doesn't show you. Does it tell you in the thing? Middle click to rotate. Okay. Middle click your mouse button apparently rotates it. Yes. Okay. So with that being said, I think I want the redstone on this side, right? Double check our book again. Cause the redstone, yeah, I want the redstone like this. Okay. So I'm going to move this right here. And with that set, I can make sure I make sure the projectors in my hand because if it's not, it goes away. It needs to be in my main inventory. I'm going to grab all of the items off the top list here and I'm going to start placing. Very simple. And uh, this is going to be a light engineering block. Oh, place that in the wrong spot. Light engineering block, two pipes, two fluid pipes. Almost positive. Yeah, that was another light engineering block that goes there. Our redstone engineering block goes here. We're going to take these wooden barrels. Those are going to go here. And last but not least, our fence and piston that is upside down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and rotate that. 
There we go. And I think you hit it right here with our hammer. And that will form the multi-block. And what you can do is just take the take this out of your hand. It's good to go. Or you can just click somewhere else to remove it. So this is our system. Now we're going to need to power it. I think with another point. Then craft one of those bad boys up. We'll throw that there. And now that is getting power. So what we can put in there is crushed coal coke. So let me grab some coal coke. I don't have some over here. We need to throw this in a pulverizer. Let's see. Do I have one laying around? I do. Perfect. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to set it right here because that's going to provide it with some power. We should be able to get this uh, pulled out. I think I have some piping. Yeah, let's get some piping specifically for this. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, pipe this out. And it's going to go directly into the input of this machine. In doing so, we'll get coke dust. And this should, once it gets four of them, I think it's four or it's eight. Eight. Once we get eight, we'll end up getting that hop graphite dust. Then that hop graphite dust is going to be turned into hop graphite ingots while it's smelted. That hop graphite ingot needs to go into an engineering work table with an engineering blueprint. And that is going to get us our rods. So, with that being said... That is uh, how everything's going to work. So uh, last but not least, we have this built. And now we need to get the arc furnace built. And we should be able to put that right next door. So the arc furnace. <laughs> this is the big daddy. This is the big boy. This is one of the, uh, probably the hardest things to make, I think, in immersive engineering. So let's combine this here with the projector. There we go. Get all this stuff out of our hand. And yeah, this is a big machine. Let's take a look and find out where that redstone port's at so we know exactly what side to face this. Okay, the redstone port is on the front. So we need to rotate this just like so. And if we set it here, I think there's ports on the back. Our power ports are on the back and there's an output on the back for flux. So I think I wanna put this one one forward just like that. There we go. So let's get to building this bad boy. It's going to require all of these different parts, mostly steel. The big, big component of this whole thing right here is steel. And as you can see, this is our half slabs, our half steel sheets. And it should go all the way through, I think. Yeah, that glowstone's in the way, but don't mind it. There we go. So there's our main floor. This shows a weird image here, but that's where the cauldron is going to go. Like that, and then we're gonna have scaffolding. And the rest is sheet metal. These are actually uh, solid steel blocks that go there. And this is sheet metal. Perfect, that's a heavy engineering block. It goes right here. If it's the wrong block, it'll turn red, by the way. So if you do place the wrong thing, it'll let you know. These are all heavy engineering blocks, and that is it for our heavy engineering blocks. The rest is light engineering blocks, also a redstone engineering block. Bam, and as you can see, we're starting to see something else here. You may be wondering, well, what is that? Why am I, why do I gotta use bl more blast brick? Well, what we're gonna do is actually tear down this. <laughs> we're gonna use the blast brick from that, so we don't have to worry about all that. So let's go ahead and do that. Take this, and that'll straight up just get us all the blast brick that we need. Because we can actually make steel inside the arc furnace. Actually a lot faster. There we go, that moves us up to the next level. Which this kind of goes forward. A lot, like that. 
Then we're going to have more steel on the corners. And then more sheet metal. More of the light engineering blocks. Another light engineering blocks or light engineering block. More scaffolding. More blast brick. And last but not least, our, our light engineering blocks with two pieces of scaffolding. The multi-block is complete, you can see here. And I think how you get this to activate is by using a hammer on the cauldron. Challenge complete, the hottest topic. So we've completed a huge thing here. Um, and it wasn't that hard to do, as you can see. But what the main thing we need is, you know, that hop graphite, because we have three electrodes here that we have to install. Otherwise, this machine will not work. So the main thing we're waiting for now is for the hop graphite. We're just waiting to get this accelerated, which of course we can use our acceleration wand on this thing to get this to work a little bit faster, maybe. Let's get this working a little bit faster. It's gonna run out of power because we don't have enough power to really supply it. Um, doesn't look like it's working because it's running out of power. But, let's see. Yeah, it needs more power. Um, but anyways, that should uh, continue. So I'll come back hopefully whenever we have a little bit more done. Well, at least right now, I guess we can go ahead and take this and hopefully we'll get some more done very soon. Take some more cold coke. Throw that in there. I don't think we have to make more cold coke. I think we might have enough. We have some more here. We might need to take some coal and throw it in the machine. We'll throw some more coal over here. Just to get that making some more, just in case we need some more. Um, and I think, I don't know, but some people were saying that we could force this to speed up by using acceleration wand on it. That doesn't seem to help, but they said that you can use something from Ender.io. But most of Ender.io is disabled. But apparently there's a block that, like, makes this look like, uh, or kind of compacts that down. I, I don't exactly know what they, what people were saying. Uh, I just thought I would mention it, that there might be something that you could use, but I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know. <laughs> I've not dived that deep into the new version of Ender.io. Um, so... I'm just kind of going off what I what I currently know. All right, so we have our hop graphite. We need to kind of dive into more immersive engineering. And we need to make the engineer's workbench. All right, so we're going to need a crafting table. Very easy. Treated wood sticks is something we're going to need. And we get a piece of treated wood fence. And engineer's work table. Awesome. Might as well throw this nearby. Actually, I would like this right here. Man, that did not go the way I wanted it to. Right here? There we go. That's more like it. Okay, uh, now in this we need a blueprint. And we need it for the electrodes. So... This is for sheet metal vacuum tubes. This is for wires packing. Um, high explosive cartridge, so the gun stuff. Flare. Ah, arc furnace graphite electro. Right? Where's that at? Huh, are we not going to be able to make it because we don't have access to the, uh, the engineer's... Maybe not. Iron component. Vacuum tube circuit. Huh. I think this is one of those that you might find in a loot chest. Well, if that's the case... We're going to have to use the stamp method. Which is going to be very expensive because these only give you 50% integrity. 
Uh, and we're also going to need to make the metal press. So let's go ahead and make the metal press. That's actually not too hard. Uh, let's get the metal press going. It's going to require some conveyor belts and stuff like that. So let's make conveyor belts. So yes, we just need some regular old fashioned conveyor belts. I don't think we have any leather. How are we, how do we make leather in this pack? Uh, atomic reconstructor. We don't have any rotten flesh. A drying basin. Ah, okay. So we just found another thing we have to get into is composting. Uh, we don't have a mushroom. Seeds with nether meat. With fermenter. Oh, boy. Guys, we just got into a whole nother rabbit hole. Because we're going to have to get leather. Oh, no. This just kind of brought this all to a dead stop. Sag mill. Uh, we don't have access to any of this, I don't think. Can we get fish? No. Hmm. So yeah, I think this is the intended method. <laughs> and this is going to be rough. So I've come to a point where I think that this is where this pack kind of gets broken. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any documentation or anything on this pack or see, watch any video, so I don't know if anybody else got stuck at this point. But I'm pretty much stuck, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to let me know exactly what I need to do because I'm pretty much stuck here. Um, so what I'm trying to get at is I need biomash in order to make leather, right? And if you take a look here, there's no recipe for biomash, and normally they're, the biomash is made with like uh, four organic matter and a knife, right, to make biomash. And even if that was the case, maybe there's no recipe for it, but if that's the case and it's not showing up in JEI, I understand. The problem is, is there's no way to make it, because if you take a look at the knife... It requires leather, which is what we need to make anyways. So making leather, I, I've, I've gone through literally all of the possible options here for obtaining leather. When it comes to rotten flesh, we need nether wart, and it needs to be composted in here. And of course, as we looked at, getting nether wart is not an easy task because it requires nether meat. Um... And I haven't seen any other way of getting it because, and well, actually, can we make a blaze rod? I don't think so. So like, yeah, we can't even, we can't even make a blaze rod. Um, and I don't, I mean, we could possibly get into Thomcraft for this. I don't even, know, I don't know how far through Thomcraft we might have to go through. But like I said, I'm going to let you guys, I don't know. I, I just feel like. I feel like that this is the intended way with nether meat in a, you know, of course you have to have protein soup. It looks like in order to obtain this. So in protein soup is what I'm getting at. It requires biomash to make. There's nothing else that you can use to make protein soup. Um, and I think protein soup is actually used in some other recipes. Yeah. To get egg yolk which is later on used to make eggs and so on. Um, and eggs are of course used to make cake. And I do believe cake is actually used in some other recipes that we're going to need. So it, yeah, there's something up with the protein soup. I think that this is actually, and it, it is content tweaker. So it is something that he added in. So I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, maybe because I mean, I'm just trying to figure this out. So you guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this. Is this is this broken right here? Because if so, I can just throw myself in some of the bio mash because I know what it would be, you know, just organic, just a few organic things and I could cheat it in. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do. I can add I can add the recipe in <laughs> if that's the case. 
uh, myself uh, and fix it. Maybe even throw a patch out so you guys can throw the patch into your uh, your pack as well. Uh, just throw in a script file. So uh, just let me know. Just let me know. And, um, you know, maybe you guys know more than me. I haven't watched really any videos or anything like that. So I have not a clue if any other creators in encounter this issue. But I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did. <laughs> Of course, I took a screenshot. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>